Hello YouTube, this is Terratech Computers, your host, Charlie. I figured I'd do a video about the best freeware. At least, I think the best freeware is that I use all the time. I use it on my personal computer, game array, pretty much every computer system I ever use. I use a simple set of free software that I downloaded from filehippo.com. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to each up, each one of them. So, for ado, I'll show you guys exactly which ones I use. I'll start off with compression first. Now, this one, I think almost, I'd say, majority of everybody knows. And that's 7 zip. Now, they have one for 64 bit and 32 bit. Uh, make sure you double check your operating system, make sure which one you guys have. Before you hit, before you download it, because obviously 64 bit won't work on a 32 bit operating system, but they both work on a 64 bit. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. As this web page loads, the, once you find the right version you want to use, click download, and it'll ask you to save. Download whichever browser you guys have. Right now, I'm using Firefox. My dad prefers using this over any other browser. I prefer using Chrome or Opal. So, yeah. So, I figure I'll use the browser he's used to using too. Or that he prefers to download all his programs on. Because I would tend to install these on his laptop so before I get back to him. Pants probably why it's taking a little bit longer than normal. It's just the same laptop I used when I was upgrading it from the mechanical hard drive and Windows 7 to an S to a solid state drive and Windows 10. So Firefox you usually hit save file on then you go back to home back to the main you go back to the home screen or home page of File Hippo. Um Basically, it's a dual core laptop, AMD E350 processor. I've graded from Windows 7 to Windows 10, mechanical to solid state drive to make things a lot easier. Now, some people might sound upon this a little bit, but I prefer using CC Cleaner a lot. I know there's better ones out there now. I hope, because I haven't used this for a little while because they had a problem with malware. But I'm pretty sure they fixed it by now. So it should be a lot safer than what they used to be. Oh, like it used to be, I should, I should probably put it that way. Um, you get the Pro Edition for 14 days free through their um, service. If you want to. Eh, you don't have to. And if I help it, it does will tell you when the next update comes out. Or the program itself will tell you when the next update is out. The um, pro version of the software gives you a little bit more hands on tools, um, automatically updates, and that's really about it. Use the extra features is what they give you for, um, your, for the extra money you pay. So, yeah. So save this file next. Now I'll move on to the other. Now the other program that's made by the same company that makes CC Cleaner is Specky. Specky is an amazing program. Um, it tells you everything about your computer. It's like a system ID or hardware ID software. It also tells you what Windows program you're, you're using too. And yeah, it is free. So it makes it amazing. It works on any computer. I am unaware if there's a Mac or Linux version of this. I'm pretty sure there is from the actual website of uh, Proform, but I would double check on that to make sure. But if not, I'm pretty sure there's other programs or freeware software similar to this program for Mac and Linux. Now, CC, uh, CC Cleaner is a version for Android. I'm not sure the version for um, Apple phones or not, but like I said earlier, there's probably a, a similar program to that for Apple phones. 
I do use CC Cleaner from my smartphone as well, which is LG V20. And it was amazing. You can say what, what files you want to clean, how much cast you want to get rid of, memory to free up. Your typical um, type of program that doesn't have a lot of issues or is fake. <laughs> like a lot of these are out on the web. Especially the ones that it pops up on banners. Uh, excuse me, on random, uh, random websites. I won't trust those much at all. Alright, so we got our Specky program, our System ID program, our Cleaner program. Now we need our Security program. Yeah, I know we have one of those um, security essentials, which is nice. But I prefer Komodo end up security over anything else free wise because if you go into the settings you can actually get most of the paid version of this to change a, a bit of settings in the software oops sorry and it makes it run technically very well I mean I only had a few malicious programs that got through it but I mean let me rephrase this for any hacker that can probably break it with ease, but for normal use, it's perfectly fine and secure. I do not want to say too much to about it, but I'm pretty sure if a hacker who is skilled enough wants to break it, they can probably break it. Like any other program that we have out there today. So, follow them. I prefer this using this program because it's pretty amazing for being free. It does protect you from a lot of spyware, malware applications. And on top of that, it also protects you against Trojan horses and then some other stuff. Yes, I will agree some programs might get through. Like any, any security software, any operating system, you're going to have those programs that will break through that stuff. It's just how it is. So, like for example, this pop up right here. I know Specky Ad Service, not Specky, but um, Firehub is Ad Program. With this here, this is where you say instant security breach. It's a f it, because you want those drivers outdated, Windows will tell you if they're outdated most of the time. And they say that Windows is based. Or the program that you use frequently will tell you if it's outdated. You don't need nothing like this because this is uh, screw your computer up really bad. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. Which is how it is. So. Double check Mr. your file. Make sure your download it. If I continue. Yep. Here it is. All right. Now we go back to the home page of File Hippo. Next we need our audio KDX and everything to detect different videos. I prefer using VLC. It seems to work pretty stinking well for lightweight uh, media operating media program. I mean it's categorized as other stuff too, like a video player, music player, perhaps a multimedia player. I'll put it that way. And they also have for Mac too. Um, I think they also have for Linux as well. Well, I could be wrong on that, but again, like with 7-zip, make sure you choose which bit version you want to use. Since I'm on a 64-bit, of course I want a 64-bit VLC. They also have an Android version as well, which I use a lot too. I use that mostly when um, the regular Android player doesn't want to play certain files. Because this program will play almost any file. Just like 7-zip can unzip almost any file. So it's a win-win. Basically, since it's open source and it's free, and it has automatic updates, so it will pop up and let you know when your when it's update when you open the program. So that way you can keep it update constantly, which is amazing. But you can't you can't lose it that either. Komodo does Komodo does the same thing too. So it's Becky CC Cleaner. They all have the automatic updates. I know that could be a program flaw, as well as a uh, security feature. 
because based on whatever you're doing. Now a key feature I like to do all the time is never use open Wi-Fi ever. I prefer using like a VPN service instead or my mobile hotspot just because you don't have to be on that uh, free Wi-Fi service if they're digging or run for your information credit card, personal information, whatever. Just be careful. Uh, Komodo does offer a service to secure the Wi-Fi server you use for a little bit extra, for a monthly subscription. So it's an idea for those who want to do it that way. For me, I'm happy with what I got. So, bam. It is now downloaded. So we got that program. Now we need one more program. We need an office program. Now most people probably won't like probably won't do do this, but you got two options. You have Open Office and I'm trying to think of the other one. Um, shoot, I cannot remember. All the time ahead, what is it called? It's Office something. Uh, forgive me about that one, but I'll show you guys in a minute what what it is. But yeah, yeah, like I said, Open Office. Um, no, nah, Open Office is pretty good. It's similar to Microsoft in a lot of ways, but there's actually a better one you can use. One is why I can simplify this. For some reason, I can't remember the name of it. And it's really drying up a wall, too. <laughs> it's saying I use this program a lot. So, yeah. Not fun here. I mean, they don't have a new version of it out yet, either. So, it's probably one of the reasons why Spec doesn't keep it at the top of the page no more. I don't think Open Office is updated much anymore, either. Come to think of it, King Soft is good too for a basic um, service. I haven't tried th I haven't tried a uh, LibreOffice yet, but I've seen a future I'll give try. Also, another good thing about Komodo, they have a sandbox application, so you can actually open the program and sandbox to keep it from getting into your operating system. This one, this one, throw that out there. Uh, why'd you be on the last page? I'm gonna laugh. Yeah, probably on the last page. If it loads. Oh, there we go. I want page 5, not page 4. That's just be on my phone, matter of fact. I'm finding out this one. Oh, there's the OPS. Oh, wow, I'm going to lose my mind. Um, they don't have a new version out for this, I don't think, anyways. But I'm about to find out if they do or not. But this program is pretty much dead on Office. I mean, you can't get any closer to, off to Microsoft Office free wise besides this program right here. So I'm going to search real quick as soon as my little mouse pops up here. Yeah, there he is. See, there's an updated version of this that Fire Hippo doesn't have yet. Nope. I guess they stopped doing uh, updates for it. That's a bummer. Oh well. You could get the premium service if you guys want to. I mean, I don't think it's too much. I never really checked either because I always use the free freeware because freeware is amazing. So premium is only thirty a year. 
which is pretty much I think twenty or thirty dollars less than Microsoft. Just throwing it out there. Anyways, we got all our programs. Make sure all that out. Go to our download folder. Now, since you have uh, security essentials already running, we don't have to really worry about it too much. So, so seven zip is super fast to install. Takes like literally no time at all. Like I said, it's done. Um, let me know in the comments below. We guys, what free you guys, what freeware you guys use is all use all the time. Sorry for me stuttering a little bit there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys use. Maybe I might learn something new. Hope you guys learn something new for what I posted in this video. And maybe both can learn something. That'd be amazing. Now, if you guys didn't use Chrome, I was like, not install it. Because, well, you don't need it. Now, for tech savvy people, you guys can just have the shortcut of CC Cleaner hidden underneath the recycling bin if you guys want to now once I get all this installed I will show you guys pretty much how to use each one of them and follow up video so you guys get familiar with it right now we get used to it and everything like that but for now I'm going to show you guys how to install it all and then each video after that, just so you guys a quick video of how to use the program. So you guys have a general idea of how everything works. And with the new SSD drive in the system, it's running super uh, it way freaking better. Which is amazing for a dual core processor. I mean, seriously, that's amazing. Imagine what a quad core processor setup like when this laptop will be like. I also make sure you guys set the the right preferences and settings too when you guys install it. Because I used to use um a Kodi for my uh, video files and whatnot. I play a lot of files, a lot of uh, different formats too, but this didn't have a player to match. I also tried Classic Media Player. As well, that's not a bad program either, but I prefer VCL better. This is far better quality. At least in my uh, preference. I mean, you guys might like Classic Media Player better or Kodi better. And two each is done. But if you guys don't mind giving a try, please go try. You guys may like it. If so, awesome. If not, I'm cool with that. Now, this program might hang up a little bit, but it's a 48, a 40 megabyte installation, which turns to, I think, about twice that much after it installs. Now, WPS Office, I know this is kind of a year or so outdated, but, I mean, it's free. It's based off of China. Not China, but uh, not China, but uh, Microsoft Office. Well, I'm doing great today, ain't I? So... You guys can decide if you guys want to join. So, me, I prefer not to. It's just me. And for those who are on the East Coast, and 19 minutes is Christmas. So, woohoo! As we wait for this slowly to install. Now, Adobe has also has a, uh, also a service too. We can convert um, PDF files and their Word documents, which is amazing. Oh, vice versa. So, I said two for one, so to speak. Um, this program also has PowerPoint, in this case, it's called uh, Presentation. It has Spreadsheet, it has Word, and I think that's it. So, honestly, it's not bad considering. And you can read a lot of different formats too, so that makes it amazing. So, if anybody can afford like Microsoft Office or Apple's equipment or Lens equipment, uh, WPS Office is amazing. I'm pretty sure, I know they have one for Mac. If they have one for Windows, I'm pretty sure they have one for Mac too. Linux, I'm not too sure about, but I'm pretty sure they do too as well. I know they have it for Android. It might have a Mac as, oh, Apple iPhone as well. 
So it's worth checking out. Now I use just the Wart uh, version for my my smartphone because I don't need spreadsheet or um, presentation. Because really, I don't use that stuff on my phone much. I just use, I like typing documents and lists up. I know they have a memo for LG, but that's limited sometimes depending on what you want to do. So w, WPS Word is a way to go for anything beyond memo standards. So it's not too bad. I mean, it's installed very quickly for an SSD drive on a dual-core system, so I'm happy. Should be down here hopefully in the next 30 seconds. Excuse me. Get up parched. Bam. 91, 92, 93, 94, 5, 6. It's like uh, New Year's 100%. Woo. Yeah. That's done. Now you open the program, it's going to take you to um, a great page and everything else. And your template page. Simple stuff. And eventually it'll up a web page of the company too. Which is normal. Next we're going to install um, Komodo. And for some reason a smart screen is not one to run. But it don't matter. Now it does it. Anyways. Now, Komodo has their own um, antivirus, firewall, browser, and stopping experience. So, that's the actual really only difference between Pro and regular is 24 7 live support. Obviously, they can help you delete viruses and any military crap. So, now, the thing we're going to use is everything but the web browser, because you don't need that. We also got uh, shop online, so definitely want that installed. Now, I use from a 3 megabit file to a 150 megabyte installation. So, it's not too bad. It downloads all the components with the actual main um, service or, say, company. To install everything, it takes roughly about you know from two to five minutes, maybe longer depending on your internet connection and your system. So, but it's being a dual core system running Windows 10, it may take a little bit longer than other systems. It might be a quad core or maybe a higher clock dual core. Because this thing's only running at 1.6 gigahertz. So, yeah. Besides like this system here, which I'm recording stuff to, which is like an i7 477K, or I said 0K, which is 3.2 to 3.4 gigahertz, like 23 gigs of RAM. So, like, way faster in this system. But for a dual core laptop, I mean, it's running pretty decent. Given it's like seven, almost eight years old. Because in March of next year, it'll be officially eight years old. Because this update came out in 2011, not 2011, which is a little bit back. When uh, AMD finally first came out with the APUs for laptops. And eventually, there's all ITX computers, but like that big. That you can use like laptop RAM on and stuff. To mimic uh, Intel's, I think you call it Atom um, lineup, which I think Intel finally got rid of that lineup. I don't think they still make that anymore. Because I think the last um, one that was pretty cool was a uh, quad core uh, Atom processor, which is pretty cool. And then that dual one was a Hyper 7, which is kind of cool too. But AMD is actually, um, APU is actually. To my mind, a little bit better because they have the uh, GPU built on the diet itself with the uh, 
processor and the higher RAM you use, the faster the GPU will uh, run. You know the processor can only handle 1066 megahertz um, RAM, but it's, it's not too bad though. But here's everything installed. Um, once it's finished fully installed, you see a little pop up on the side there that will show you the program is running like a widget. Yeah. Yeah, they still use widgets. You know, it was like 2018 going 2019. So, yeah, I'm going to cut the video here. I'll be come back later and give you guys a tutorial on each program. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. See you later.